By now, all of the new cards for the Chronicles expansion coming up on October 4th would have been revealed, but I still didn't have the opportunity to get through all the factions, so we still have Scoitel, Syndicate, Skellige, and Monsters, and I'm going to be making all those videos today. I want to have the discussion with you guys before the cards come out so that we can revisit this maybe in about a week's time once we've all had a chance to play the new cards. We could talk about you know, what we think about them after the fact and compare our opinions from now and then. So we'll get right into it, guys. We have the first one up being the Nyad Fledgling. So Dryad and Nyad, which is actually a new tag for Scoitel, which is interesting to see, right? Whenever your symbiosis is triggered, give the unit to the left vitality of two. That's a good engine, especially if you think of something about the Hamadryads, for example, or uh, Frisianae, right? Like, that could be a lot of vitality play, which would be really good. Um, order, remove all vitality from an allied unit, then boost self by the same amount. I guess you'd be getting the vitality, like, every turn you could be doing vitality too, and it would stack up more turns than what you have in the round. And so for that reason, you'd be able to just sort of capitalize on that. Now, with Symbiosis triggers, we're triggering with nature cards, right? So we could essentially just boost this up to keep it fairly safe with a Tempering or a Dryad's Caress, for example. And it should keep it out of removal range. With that being said, I think that this is going to be a pretty good card just based on what I see here for only five provisions, right? I'll have to see the other ones before we make a final comment on it, but it looks like it would actually be pretty good. Good engine value, and it's not really much setup. It's sort of what the deck would play into anyways. So next up, here we have Nyad Pawnkeeper, and deploy melee, choose an allied wandering treant, and damage an enemy unit by its power, then reset the wandering treant and deploy ranged, infuse a non-symbiosis allied unit with symbiosis. So, with this one here, the melee effect reminds me of Cyclops from Monsters, in the way that we're able to get that extra removal reach, but we also have the draw back of having to damage, or in this case, reset our Wandering Treant. I guess we get the one point extra because it is one base power, right? And we're just resetting it to the one. So that's not half bad, but ultimately I think you'd only use this if you really had to get rid of an engine that's about to get out of control, something with like a really nasty order or maybe a defender, and that's after you have a board state that can support the trains getting tall. If you're playing this early round, it's going to be very slow, right? Now, the range looks intriguing to me because we can infuse a non-symbiosis allied unit with symbiosis. So we can play things in the deck that don't have symbiosis. We're not limited to just playing essentially a bunch of dryads. We can start putting in sorceress and stuff like that, you know, that we want to play to create more natures and then give it that tag so that we're getting the extra points. So I like that quite a bit, right? I think we're going to see a lot of play with the ranged effect at least. It's just there's so many cards between four to six provisions that you'd want to put in Nature's Gift that it does become a little bit difficult to accommodate these while keeping the ones that we like from previous packages, but I'm sure there'll be a way, right? These bronzes look like they have the ability to play for enough points if left unchecked, especially the fledgling. So pretty good on the bronze end so far. And next up here we got Frog Mating Season, which is a nature card. Gold, nine provision. Okay. Choose two allied units, then give them vitality four. And spawn a frog on each side of chosen units. So essentially, we could be spawning up to four frogs by the look of it. I do have what the frog looks like here. We can look at them side by side. The frog is the token that's doomed beast tag. At the end of your turn, trigger vitality of adjacent units. Order move self to other row. The thing is, you wouldn't really want these on your side. I like the vitality four. Because on Hamadryads, that plays for a lot of points. 
And then to like speed it up with Frog is pretty good. But ultimately it comes down to space, right? We're gonna have a lot of Treant spawning. I don't like seeing a bunch of these, especially if they... I mean, they could kill them, which would help us. We could click order, which would push them, which is not bad. But again, the initial real estate gets kind of questionable with all the tokens that we have. We might not even be able to spawn them. So if we don't spawn them, it's just 8 vitality for 9 provisions. You have to be really mindful of when you're using this in the round, otherwise it's not very good. You see, I'm, I'm really excited about this so far. I'm fairly excited about this. I think this is interesting design, but I'm not over like, over-the-top excited about this one here. I think it's so-so, but we'll see what the next card has. And lastly, we have Aquin, which is a Dryad and Nyad, Legendary, 13 Provision, and 5 Base Power, which is not too bad. Now, Symbiosis is good, right? Of course, it gets our nature cards to be worth more when we play them. We have Deploy, Infuse all your Nyads with the nature category, wherever they are. Whenever you spawn a Wandering Treant, give it Vitality equal to the number of Dryads you control. So, if this has Symbiosis, it's going to be contributing to the points that we're getting on the Treants. And then if we're infusing the Nyads with Nature, then the Nyads are going to be procking the Treants to spawn. Which is massive, right? Because then... The Treants also get Vitality equal to the amount of Dryads we control. So you're going to want to actually play these having looked at it. And likely two of each just because you want to play a lot of Dryads if you're going to be running the Aquin. But I still don't think we need to, to run this for example. Just because with all that extra spawning from these then it makes this look even worse in my opinion because now like we're really running out of space so we got to be careful here now what i also like about this here is that we have infusing with nature so we can play one of these off of the forest protector if we want to and we can go for a tutor out with fove which is actually pretty nice because in most recent versions of the deck, I cut out Fove from a provision standpoint because there's like a lot of good cards that can help support this archetype and this makes it a little bit easier. Now, looking at this, I don't know yet if Devotion Symbiosis is the way. However, what I like about this card set is that it doesn't mean we have to play Devotion because you could still get a lot of points if you have something like this and you have this package here with the hammer riots and you don't have Ethne and you start putting in some heavy control tools like Heatwave or, you know, the Igni and stuff like that to deal with some of the threats that we've seen from previous factions that are coming in. So I'm really excited to try this overall. I think that these are actually pretty good additions and it's again, one of my favorite archetypes in the game would be Nature's Gift, Symbiosis. I love just building up the Gord play and and finishing with that so overall i'm pretty impressed with what i see so far i want to hear what you guys think of these cards let me know in the comments below and we'll revisit this in about a week's time once we've all had a chance to play and kind of give our final say on what's going on with these cards and that's pretty much it we'll get into syndicate for the next video skellige after that and then we got uh, tons of stuff we got monsters then we got the patch notes and then before you know it the patch drops and if you guys want to stay tuned with all the latest decks to get you into pro rank and get you started for the new expansion, make sure you drop a sub on the channel because I'm going to be turning things up big time when the new cards are finally dropping. So we'll see you guys soon and uh, thanks again.